This is how you take apart the center console area in a Gen 3 Montero. It doesn't matter if you have the Limited or XLS trim. This is basically going to be the same. Um, this is 2001 to 2006. So to get started, the first thing I'm going to do is take out the cup holder. You simply just grab this and pull straight up. Uh, might take a little bit of force if it's never been removed before because, you know, soda and gum can get down in here and kind of glue it down. But yeah, just try and grab it and pull it straight up. So you can see I popped that. Set that aside. I'm excited to see what kind of treasures we find under here. Um, okay, so next step, you can see that exposed two screws. So go ahead and take those out. And then you're going to remove your shift knobs and you just turn these counterclockwise to remove them. Well, I should say the transfer case shift knob, that's how you do it. The transmission shift knob is different. So take this one out. And now for the transmission shifter, you simply pull down on the bottom part like that. And then that will expose a screw right there and then another one on the side. So you can go ahead and take out those two screws. Then you can simply just lift the top of the shifter out and you've got this little dome piece of plastic here so hold on to that and then you got to be really careful the whole time you're working on everything with this thin white piece of plastic if you snap that off it's going to be really annoying to try and find another one nowadays so then the bottom of this can come off so that's that now you can just pick up right here and start to lift this off but it's pretty hard to get off when the vehicle is in park i find it easier if you put the vehicle in neutral, that'll allow you to take it off easier. Um, it won't come off all the way though because there's some wire harnesses that you need to disconnect. So let's peek under there. So on the other side, there's just one wire harness on this one. There may be more than one on a later year Montero or if you have limited, I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, just disconnect that one wire harness and that frees this main section here. So now we're looking at this and you can see all kinds of treasures from the past, like some coins. Um, nothing too exciting in this Montero. So then if you wanna keep going and you wanna take apart this area, the next step would be to remove that screw and that screw. Okay, so with those two screws removed, this piece can slide back a little bit. Uh, again, it hits the shifter, so just be real careful not to snap this white piece of plastic off. Then you can reach back here and start disconnecting the uh, wire harnesses. Like, here's the light for this um, ashtray, and that just unscrews, just turn that um, to unlock it. Same thing with the one for the cigarette lighter. 12 volt cord there. And then you've got a couple more plugs down there. What they go to is this switch panel. So if you can reach underneath and unplug them, great. If you can't, you, uh, you can also pry up on this switch panel to pop it out. And then you can just unplug them from there. There is enough room if you're careful and with the shifter in the neutral position uh, to just flip that whole thing over. And then you can go and start unplugging uh, these wire harnesses. When you're doing that, you might notice that you have an extra uh, wire harness that's plugged into a switch blank on the panel. Like, there'll be like a harness plugged into like one of these blanks here. That's totally normal. This went to the um, uh, power antenna on foreign market vehicles where you could like choose to raise and lower the radio antenna from inside the cabin, but that was not something on US uh, Monteros. And no, you can't get one of those switches from overseas and plug it in, it'll work. I've tried it. There's a, I think it's also, there's also a relay somewhere in the system that's missing on US Monteros. So um, it would be cool if ours could do that, but they can't. So don't fret about that on your wiring harness. And there you go. Um, if you wanted to remove this little tray, there's just two screws and
there you go. You got pretty much access to everything. If you need to work on your transmission shifter here, sometimes this little white piece, this little plastic breaks. Um, and then if you want it to keep going and take off this back part of the center console, I've taken off the armrest lid. You don't need to do that. But if you did want to remove the lid, there's just four bolts right there. But if you want to keep going, there are two screws, one, two, and then there's two inside, one, two. So just remove those. So with those four screws out of the way, as you can see, you tilt this back and there's going to be uh, one wire harness here for you to disconnect. And then uh, can't really do it with one hand. And then this will be free, your box here. Quick Montero tech tip for you guys. Uh, this happens on all generations, I believe. If you ever see a bolt with an E stamped in it, then that is an important earth or ground location for your vehicle. So you can see that one came out of this ring terminal. So that's where this was grounded. So yeah, you'll find those in the engine bay. You'll find them all over. But if you ever find a bolt with an E, it's important that you uh, put that back and make sure the connection is good and tight or else you'll have an electrical problem. I didn't mention this, but this was kind of interesting. This usually never happens. This little trim piece uh, for the e-brake doesn't usually come apart separately. It usually wants to stay like locked into here. Mine came out separately, but when you're doing yours, that's may or may not happen. And so when you're raising that piece out, you might have to fight with the uh, e-brake lever. Just take this to the position that you need to for it to slide out. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's how you completely take apart the center console. Really, really simple to get under here. Uh, don't be intimidated by it. Um, if you wanted to keep going and remove this piece of plastic here, you can see that there's like a screw there and there and um, along the front. Let me see if I can get you guys some light here. Along the front, there's like these little recessed spots. I know you can't see them with the light. There's a little recessed area with a cover. There's a couple screws there, and I think that's about it for that whole piece of plastic under here if you needed to remove that for some reason. But anyways, I hope you found this helpful. Just one other quick little tip again. Uh, if you need to change what gear your transmission's in, you can still pull down on this and shift it, even without the top being on it. Just make sure you apply pressure straight down, not torqued at all to the sides, um, or else you could snap this. And I hope that helps.